The Master Trials DLC for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild adds The Trial of the Sword, a new quest that tasks you with completing 45 enemy-filled levels with just the skin on your back and whatever you can find. Keep watching for strategies and tips for floors 7 through 12 of The Beginning Trials. Floor 7 is a rest area. This serene room has three chests filled with two weapons and a shield. Nearby crates are filled with arrows and meat, trees are lined with mushrooms, a lone apple tree grows near the water, and three fish swim in the fishing pond. A fairy is floating nearby the exit, so slowly crouch over and snag it. Oh, and there's a cooking pot ready for any dishes you need prepared. Rest up, then head out. Floor 8 has two Lizalfos and two blue Lizalfos, along with a big electric choo-choo. Taking down the lone Lizalfos on the rocks will keep them from getting in the way when you later attack the main enemy camp. The two Lizalfos at the camp can be zapped with a sharp arrow to the electric choo-choo. A treasure chest containing 10 arrows can be grabbed from between the rocks using Magnesis. Make sure to grab the three roasted bass near the fire. Floor 9 has two water Octroks and an electric Wizrobe. Immediately take out the nearby Octorok with an arrow, otherwise he'll be a nuisance from here on out. To your left is a chest holding 10 arrows that you can grab using Cryonesis. Climb up the tall rock to your left to get a look at the other Octorok and the Wizrobe. Take care of the Octorok with an arrow, then glide over to the Wizrobe. Make sure to grab the lightning rod it leaves behind. Floor 10 has one blue Lizalfos and two black Lizalfos. The blue Lizalfos will immediately spot you as soon as you enter, so be careful not to have him alert the others. You don't want all three chasing after you. They're quick, they have spears, and they can attack on the water. Pushing them into the water can help you fight them individually. If you picked up the lightning rod from the previous room, use that to stun them first. Before you leave, make sure to destroy the metal crates for some extra arrows. Floor 11 has 4 red bokoblins, 3 blue bokoblins, 1 black bokoblin, and 1 black moblin. Get on the raft and start sailing towards the enemy camp. You'll first need to take out the two archers on the left and the right. Get a headshot and you'll take them out immediately. You may want to abandon the raft once you get closer as the enemies will rain down their attacks all at once. Use cryonesis to get around quickly. Make your way over to the bottom of the stairs on the main platform. Sneak up and start attacking from here. Keep in mind that if a Bokoblin falls in the water, they drown. There is a treasure chest in the water between the rocks on the right. Find 10 shock arrows inside. Another treasure chest containing 10 fire arrows rests on the small archer tower on the right. Floor 12 is another boss battle room with a single Hinox. As long as you can run for a good amount of time, this one shouldn't give you too much trouble. Since there is a lot of room to run around in, use the arrow to the eye tactic and deal damage when he is stunned. Once he starts covering his eye, wait for him to spot a palm tree to strike again. As you're fighting, try to grab the sword, the shield, or the bow that are hanging on his necklace. For more on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and for tips on the other floors of the Trial of the Sword, keep it here at IGN.